everyone. I just got to see if we're recording. Yep. I've got my phone propped up on the tripod. <laughs> I still haven't found um, a new gadget thingy to hold my phone. I could get one off eBay, but, you know, I'm too lazy. So, I finally got Little Miss Anna here. Little Miss Anna. And I'm going to change her. She's not a very popular baby in my collection, but, you know, that's okay. I think she's a little cutie, actually. She's not perfect, but, you know, nobody is. Hey, little girl. She feels really nice to hold, and that's a big thing for me. And she's... She's a baby that I can hold and I can change and I can bath and do all those things with um, without worrying about anything happening to her because she needs love and attention and that's all okay. Oh, we've got crows crying outside there and magpies and all sorts of birdies out this morning making a lot of racket so i bought everything but a bib but i will we'll see i'll just leave her like this in case i have to wipe her nappy's all good for now so she needs a drink she hasn't had any attention for a little while so i'll just give her a little little bit Seems she's asleep still, so she probably won't drink for long. She's such a quiet baby. You very rarely hear her. We um had quite a big storm here the other day. It was um it was forecast for the area, and we don't usually get um, major storms here. We're usually on the edge of it or, you know, it just misses us or whatever. Um, <clears throat> we very rarely get the worst of it. And we still didn't this time. We were on the edge of it. But, oh, man, that wind. Huh. It was like a tornado. Seriously, my trees were just swirling round and round and round. You could see them. And there's branches down. Um, the wind actually sucked out the glass out of one of my windows in the kitchen. So um, it didn't open the window or because I've got an old house and my windows in the lounge room and kitchen are still the old windows, the old timber frames. Um, and the ones in the kitchen are the, the push out ones. So they push out that way. And um, I hadn't replaced them yet. <laughs> And it just sucked the the glass. The wood is still there, like the frame and everything. Still, it just sucked the glass out. It was just amazing what that storm did. Um, we didn't get any major structural damage, but because it came from the south, um, I that's the high side of my house, and um, something yet to be done is to put fascia board and the guttering up on that side. And because I haven't done it yet, um, or got somebody to do it for me, I'm not getting up there. It's way too high for me. And I'm not that clever. Um, yeah, because it hasn't been done yet, The wind, whenever we get a storm from that way, and it's a blowy storm, it blows the rain under the roof and makes my ceiling leak. So all through my lounge room and kitchen, just in one line straight through, um, it was raining inside, so... Um, and the wind was so bad, I just closed the bedroom doors that um, join onto the land room and kitchen and I went back to my bedroom up the north end of the house because that that wind was coming under the house, under the floorboards. You could feel it, my lino, my carpet, everything was lifting up. Um, and she was blowing pretty well. And it was pretty scary, not so much for me. I was in the house, I was safe. But it was 
um, home time for the kids and they were still on the bus and the storm was heading in the direction that the bus was coming from. Um, so I, me and my sister were both panicking because our kids were on the bus and not home yet. Um, so we were both on the phone to each other and wondering where these kids are. And I said, oh, I hope the, the bus driver, you know, holds up somewhere, takes cover. And then we lost power very briefly. It was only about half an hour we lost power, which was good. Um, and when it came back on, I went to message my sister and she'd rang me and um, I seen the bus coming down the road. So, oh, it was such a relief, I can tell you, to see that bus with the kids on. And I went running out to them. It was oh, one of the most scary things, I think, that I've been through in a while not having those kids home with me <laughs> in that storm. And then, so I thought it was pretty bad here, you know, when the storm was over, we cleaned up as best we could in the lounge room and kitchen. We had to move the lounges because they were all wet, but just as well I have blankets um, on my lounge suite. I have a set of blankets on the whole lounge um, suite. And it was almost like, like a minky kind of woolen blankets and they actually protected the lounge um the rain uh sort of the water just sort of sat on top of the blankets so it was only the blanket that was wet not the actual lounge so I was lucky there but there was a lot of mopping up and and I was worried about my new kitchen because you know it was only new and with the new kitchens they're just that press board stuff it's not solid timber and, you know, they get wet. <laughs> well, that's the end of it. And I was worried about my cupboards and, you know, all that. But they seem fine. I did a big mop up and got under the cupboards because I've left the kickboards off the cupboards so I can get under them, which I'm glad I did. Um, they've only got, like, the backing boards on, but I can get under the cupboards from the front. Because I did the kitchen myself, I, you know, I did it the way I wanted it. So, yeah, I left the kickboards off the front and I was able to mop under and, um, you know, save them that way, I guess. It didn't just sit under there. The only thing I couldn't do was pull the dishwasher out because um, it's all plumbed in and I would have had to undo all the plumbing to pull it out. So I didn't do that. I just, you know, kind of did the best I could with that. Um little miss anna in purple today she's got butterfly here i know it doesn't all match but you know and i got the powder i meant to put in her nappy and i forgot but it's sitting right there but anyway never mind i really love these headbands they're like kind of like wraps there you can have them thin or wide really nice and it suits her i think um and i didn't burp her so i'll do that just for a little minute yeah, so that was a bit of um, bit of a scare for us. And then um, when it was all over um, and we tidied up in the lounge room a little bit, opened all the windows, um, we went for a walk up to mum's place to see how she fared in it. There was trees down and stuff along the way, or well, branches, not whole trees, but branches um, on the road and stuff. Um, and, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, she had about three chook of her chook pens <laughs> that had blown um, on top of each other. So they were in a big pile and we pulled them apart and stuff like that. Um, oh, I've got a crow and a kookaburra out in the paddock having a little spat. <laughs> Must be something out there they both want. Um, yeah, so we went up to mum's and seen all that. Um, my sister's trampoline and she lost a bit of iron off her um chook pen but nothing major um and one of the things that i was amazed at besides the wind sucking my glass out of the window um was my pool and it's quite funny because i hadn't cleaned it in a couple of days so the bottom was a bit grimy um 
but after the storm I looked down from the veranda and you could see the water was all clear as it should be and it is the water's clean it's just the bottom of the pool I haven't vacuumed and all around the side or around the outside of the pool was clean and all the gunk was just in the middle <laughs> so that's how swirly the wind was it cleaned the pool for me it was like a tornado it was oh it was crazy the, that wind was just absolutely yeah um and then the next day um i had to go to town and um on top of one of the hills on the way to town oh it was so eerie um it's not far from my place maybe two minutes down the road um the trees were all stripped of their leaves the, the trees are still there but there's no leaves and because it's on top of the hill it looks so bare on top like it's just completely bare of any leaves um there's branches down everywhere and the house on top of the hill they lost their back shed um they had a, a roof at the back like a kind of like a carport i suppose but it was like their um porch i suppose but it was ran the, the length of the house at the back and be, that's the south side so it must have just lifted all that up and all their iron from their roof is over in the next paddock so they had a bit of um, damage done there. My door's going to slam shut. Um, and then down, just down the hill, the house that's down there, um, they had even worse damage. Um, because they had like old sheds and dairy shed and things like that down there, um, all the old roofing blew off. So their sheds have no roof on. Um, their trees were just stripped um, of leaves and branches their trampoline was on the other side of the road the, all the iron from their sheds are on the other side of the road it was just a big mess um, so yeah that was and then that storm travelled through um, like we were on the edge of that but in the middle of it man it was awful I, all of the trees in that just down the road from us were stripped because of the hail now we didn't get any hail at our place we just had the wind um, I'm, I'm actually glad we didn't get the hail because it was pretty bad, um, to strip those trees like that. It was, yeah. So, and, and that storm traveled, um, down to the city that I always go to, Bundaberg, um, and done quite a bit of damage down there. They had huge, big, like 25, 30 meter fig trees in the street and they were just tipped over like nothing. Um, and they had power off for days. Um, even here, there are some areas here that didn't have power for a couple of days. Um, one of my sisters being one of them. So, we're, yeah, in the path of the storm. Um, so we were very lucky here. And I, my house being old, I was waiting for my roof to go, but it didn't. So thankfully, it's stronger than I, I give it credit for. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that was just a little chat and a bit of excitement for the day or for the week here. Um, and changing little Miss Anna. She's so sweet. I hope you guys can see her okay in the light. She's such a sweet little girl. I'm going to go and cuddle her now because she's nice and cuddly snuggly. So thanks for listening to my little scary story there and watching little miss Anna I might just wrap her up a bit